4,000 kilometers away, another clue. St. Petersburg, Russia. Spencer Wells is on the trail of another important piece of the puzzle. The renowned State Hermitage Museum houses some of the greatest artworks known to the world. But it also has lesser known rooms. Rooms that hold works more suitable to an archaeologist than an art lover. Spencer knows just what he is looking for. Another mummy. This one found frozen in Siberia at a site called Pazrik, found 1,000 kilometers north of the Tarim people. He is a steppe nomad. And for those in the know, it is easy to see a strong relationship to the mummies of the Tarim Basin. What brought us to a basement room in the Hermitage? Well, when I look at Pazrik Man, I see a pretty clear connection to the Xinjiang mummies. There's all of these archaeological connections. Like the Tarim Basin people, this individual went to his grave with clues to how he lived. He was evidently important, a chieftain. He had a chariot, crafted with spoked wheels. Rugs, intricately woven in the same manner as his neighbors to the south. And a horse, mummified beside him, complete with saddle. The Pazric chieftain lived at the end of the Tarim people's existence. Yet his technology is suspiciously similar to that found in the Tarim Basin, 1,000 kilometers away. You have these people who were quite tall and European looking with reddish or blondish hair, living in a region that today is, you know, basically Chinese. Were they really such an anomaly? And the answer is no, they probably weren't. The mummies seem to have far flung ties Europe, Mesopotamia, Siberia. The picture is expanding. 